Hi, Ian. Welcome to your free introductory coaching session. Thank you. You sent me a video of uh, two games. You want to focus on Dusk? Yes. Video? Let's dive right into that. So what do you like to go for on the opening carousel and why? So I was going for chain until uh, 10.20. And then I now I think I tend to go for a glove or a sword. And um, I used to just slam Sunfire when I could. And that was why I would go for chain. Yeah. Um, now I just like glove because it combines with a lot of items. And sword, uh, I just feel comfortable with the sword. Not exactly sure why. I always go sword. I always yeah. go sword for it's for Jin, Talon, or Ash. Mm -hmm. They can sword. It's right. like based on the rankings, it's like the third best item, but I just love swords. And I've been doing quite well with them, so that's what I do. Uh, what about your hotkeys? I don't see you kind of uh, gliding in to the bubble. Oh, how do you do that? I don't I wasn't aware of that. Okay, so first of all, you need predictive movement on. Predictive movement. Okay, I'm going to write this down because I don't have a, my client up. Okay. So predictive movement, it's in the client. Okay. It's terrible for TFT, apparently. Uh, for uh, League of Legends, you don't want to use it in League of Legends, but in TFT, it's perfect. And you want to set uh, four hotkeys for, for movement. So typically, it's right click, right? Like right click mm -hmm. is movement. And then right. the, the next one I have is Z. And then I have X and C as a uh, attack move. Huh, okay. So, I mean, I can quickly show you what that looks like. Pretty sure I do it almost every game. And that way, I, I basically always secure the item I want at the start. Hmm. Okay. Especially with people who don't use these tricks. Like people in higher ELO, they use these tricks as well, but lower ELO, they just kind of wander around. Yeah, I didn't even know that existed. So you just spam the hotkey when you're on the look, bubble? Look at, like, look at, look at me compared to the other guy. Yeah. You see how, how yeah. I'm like clicking? Because I have more inputs, right? It's all about the inputs. So, as I told you, I'm old, I click slowly, <laughs> but I have four inputs. So like my, my computer is saying, okay, get in there. Like I'm sending four, as, four times as many inputs. So mm. even though I send them slower, since I'm clicking like four times, I usually get what I need. So I'm already okay. like in the bubble and look at that. Like he had no chance. Yeah, that was fast. Okay. So that's just something like if you always want to get the item you want, it doesn't work every time, but it'll definitely help you. Okay. So, And you're muting everyone. Perfect. You can also set that up. If you can also set up uh, mute everyone, you can just turn off chat in the client. Yeah, I may do that. Sometimes I play with friends though, so I like to manually. Okay. And uh, for pings, if pings annoy you, you can uh, like mute pings. So you you see them on the map, but you don't hear them. Okay, I think I have that. Yeah. And I have chat enabled on. Yeah, now it's enabled, so I, I chat with people sometimes, but. It does get frustrating when people type like me Mac or me whatever, and then they don't play it, and you kind of get lazy scouting them because they said they're playing something and then they're not. So right. We got a tear. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so what's going through your mind now? Okay. I think usually here, like in these early rounds, I tend to look for cultists or brawlers, and uh, I, I usually avoid other units. Sometimes I'll pick up like a Yasuo or a Garen. Um, okay. I'm, I'm definitely, so round one here uh, in PvP, I definitely screw up. Um, I think this is the game where I just make a really weird play, so I'm curious to see that. And you know about the odds of units and stuff like that now, right? Like, if you don't buy the Diana, and yeah, the yeah, Diana, mm -hmm. they're not going to show up. Yeah, right, right. Because, like, you shouldn't be buying everything here. Yeah, so, yeah. So, I'm kind of curious about that because sometimes um, it seems like you want to, yeah, like right here, I think I'm going to buy these Namis. And I just I don't like mages at all. And I know they've been changed. So, this is why my uh, early games are really uncomfortable here. It's my first time trying mages. 
Okay, uh, so you you actually want to go mages. I mean, with the tier, I guess you're kind of forced into it. Yeah. Um, I'm... I don't know if I would keep the Annie, honestly. Okay. What would you do? Um, well, Wayne is, like, such a core unit in Sharpshooters and Dusk. So, like... Mm. You sell the Annie and you you buy the I guess Elise Yasuo and Wayne right? Do you pick Vayne up this early if you're planning out Dusk? Well, there is no harm picking her up this early, and you get insta punished. Okay. Right, because there's a look at this. You could have Wukong Thresh Wayne. Okay. Ah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, now you have two star Nami, but. Does that actually do anything? No, so I would have much rather had the Vanguard Dusk. Yeah. With a tier. So, okay, yeah, let's see, let's see what, what you do here. Wow. So this is... Uh, I wouldn't even say this is your strongest board, it's just your most expensive board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Like Wukong Thresh plus whatever would be so much better. Like, so I know, yeah, yeah, no, I totally agree. And I'm thinking that uh, I want to pick up one more mage. And so I didn't, yeah, I, I kind of tunneled on that once I got the Nami. And Okay, what, what, is, the, what is the Tom Kench for? Uh, I, I probably continue to pick up Brawlers in the early game as a habit until I figure out which chosen I have because I I'll tend I tend to play like a solo Tom Kench with a backline if I get uh, a tier a two star. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. I was just thinking like the Yasuo. Okay, so this is this is like a tiny thing. Uh, you can I mean you're so weak, uh, but yeah, you can definitely put the Nami in the front. Mm -hmm. Um. So essentially, like this is like not right now in particular, but in, in general, you want to make sure you kill the creeps as fast as possible to have as much time as possible once mm. the round ends, right? Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Because like right here, unfortunately, you're the slowest one in the lobby, or yeah, close to it. So I don't get to decide yeah, for as long. Does kind of get away from you. That's also unfortunate. But I mean, you you're not AFK. That's good. Like some people. <laughs> Are kind of AFK. Like you do grab the orb as quickly as you can, and so okay. If you had a little bit more time and you could think, what would be the right play here? Um, off the top of my head, Lux is not super useful to me. Uh, at least that's what I would think. And then I'd probably pick up both Vanguards and uh, Tom Kench as well. I would. Sell the, I think it's Xinjiang. Yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. And I would buy the Wukong and Thresh. You have Vanguard, yeah. Divine, and Lux is is insane. Mm, you're right. I didn't think I didn't see Divine in my head. Okay, got it. And Lux is actually insane. If if you're good at scouting, you you scout the lobby. You put Lux in the right corner. She'll stun two units. She'll stun like like two thirds of their of their composition. So in general, early game, you're hanging. You hang on to Lux. Pretty much always. If I can, okay. So if I can play her, and she'll buff my like, she'll buff my Wukong. So I have Vanguard, Divine, and Lux. Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah like, okay. let's see what you have. Let's see what board you have next turn. Like this turn, what would you put together? I think this is where I just panic and do something pretty awful. Let's see. Okay. That is pretty awful. Yep. I think the brawlers are going in. Okay, the bra okay, okay, that's a little bit less awful. Yeah, I guess if, if that was a Thresh and a Wukong, that would look a lot cleaner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it seems like you're forcing brawlers a bit too much. Yep. So like, it doesn't matter whether, whether it's uh, va vanguards or brawlers, but you were given Wukong and Thresh, which would actually give you additional synergies. And Thresh is actually also kind of broken early because he heals. Like, he heals a unit. And what is... Okay, what is the Lux doing there? I really... What's a better unit than Lux right now? Uh... 
Mm. Probably the uh, Jenna. Definitely. You get enlightened. Yep. And I don't know exactly what the, what the mana is, but I know Jana has 60 mana, so she will cast... I do know exactly. Okay, so 60 mana, so she needs 4 times 14 to cast. So, 5 times 14 to cast. So it's 1 better. And Nami's 80 mana, so she needs 6 times 14 to cast instead of 8. So it mm. improves Nami by, by 2, Jana by 1, and you don't have any damage, so... Right, right. Okay. I guess I guess the Lux is fine, but I don't think you can win. Okay, so wait, let's, let's go back. Let's go back. So I know this is like your your play style, of course. But what I would kind of do instead, like, how can you guarantee that you get a lead right now? What's a guaranteed lead right now? You're, I mean, you're suggesting I econ here. Of course. This okay. is like 3, 6, 9. All right, you have like 12 gold, 13, 14, 15, 16 gold. You have 16 gold. So put six, 6 gold worth of units in the field, on the field, and sell everything else. Yep, yep. So I definitely think about that, and I try to do that. I think here I uh, was so focused on trying to make a winning board and get to four quickly that I just, yeah. Winning board? Like, I'm sorry, but it's, there's no... No, it's winning. not, yeah. <laughs> You're not presented with a winning board. Right, right. And I, if I if I can guarantee a loss streak, I, I do it. Or like, if I if I can guarantee extra gold, I do it. Makes because sense. extra gold, like, it just guaranteed. Like, being at 10, it guarantees you gold. Right. Uh, I guess you maybe barely win here. No, like I said before the video, this this is one of the worst openers I think I've ever done where I just felt like it was wrong and I couldn't and the mages just kind of baited me because I'm like, oh, they, you know, they're better now. Let me try to go for this and yeah, very uncomfortable, but I think I lose anyway. No, that's two star now. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. So exactly like and you level up for that. So that already like puts you in at a small disadvantage. Right, right. I mean, the, the the tier start is really frustrating. I gotta give you that. Like, tier start is always frustrating. And you know the the item probabilities, right? Like the bags and stuff. Not not very. No, I don't. Okay, so you can. There's like a bag, which is full of items, like your own personal bag. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there's one of each item, and there's like one of each item added per creep round. Okay. So next creep round, you're twice as likely to get anything but a sword. Because I already got a sword. Okay. Because you got a sword. And it does not take the carousel into account at all. Like carousel is like completely separate. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, so, so like carousel, you can get four swords from carousel, and you might still get like one or two swords from, from creeps. How big is the bag? So if you so if I got a sword now, what the next creep round? It's twice as likely to get a uh, a chain. It's just one of each item per one creep of each. round. Okay. So and it there's keeps, like eight yeah. items when the game starts, and then like next creep round there's like 15? sixteen minus whatever you already got. Okay, got it. So you're more likely to get a tier. Like you're more likely to get a tier pair if you pick up a tier, because now there's like two tiers in your bag still. So that's why mm. it's so important to pick up things off the carousel that you're less likely to get. Does that make sense? Yep, yep. Yeah, so naturally, like, naturally you probably won't get another sword. So if you want to make a death blade, you should pick up a sword. So what I should probably do is figure out what my builds that I tend to go use in total uh, and then start to get a picture of that. Because right now I have no idea. Like, I can't visualize all the items I'm going to need this game. Um, and I feel like if I knew that, Okay, so you've already lost, or like you, you're yeah. already behind. Right. So there's there's um, perfect items, and then there's items you slam. So for example, my last game, which was really cool today on on stream, 
uh, I won, and I was playing against another challenger. I mean, I was uh, in. Um, it was a. I think it was a platinum game, but he was. He showed me his account. He's challenger as well, and it's all about summoning items. Like Yasuo, I had Giant Slayer, GA, and Hodge, which are kind of decent. And I slammed mm-hmm. the Giant Slayer early because I'm like, okay, I have a sword and a bow, might as well summon it. So like the reason why this like the whole thing you're doing right now is already wrong is because you d- you don't have an item you do not have an item so anyone who can make an item will always beat you mm-hmm. even if you level the four but you have no slammable item like unless you have and you have no chosen you have no chosen and no item there's no way you're you're win streaking would but, sh- would it make sense to slam shojin or no it's a terrible item no Right, right, okay. But it's like you don't have items. You don't have an item like a competent item, like a useful item you can make, and you don't have a chosen. So and so like, I should not have gone for. I should have gone for the econ. Is what you're saying? Definitely. The, okay, because the whole the total situation was just a weak. Everything was weak, so I should have gone lost streak because it made more yeah. sense with my. Okay, I got it. So you need either a good chosen <clears throat> or a good item. Right. Like okay. If you have sunfire cape, maybe you don't like. Maybe sunfire cape on a one star Tom Kent is fine. But like, if you have no items and no chosen, there's no way you're winning. Okay, this guy, like this guy, you beat. Like, no offense to your opponents, but like, if they're in diamond, they might have shitty boards as well. Mm-hmm. But you should not depend on them playing poorly. You should be like, okay, most of the time I will lose. And now, like, even if you win now, it's like, okay, so I lost and I won. And then it's like, if you can focus on one thing, you should always do that. Like, if you can get yeah, yeah, yeah. winning or losing. So this guy you beat because you got the cultists. Nice. So you're getting to 10. Good. Do you want to two-star your pike? Mm, I do. Um, but I think I knew my board was not great. <clears throat> and going into the next level, I felt like I wanted the money here. Okay. Uh, so I just, I, I didn't... <clears throat> Yeah, I didn't want to buy that and then go in with with no income on the next round, just expecting to lose it. So, but how I does felt... the shop work? Ah, so oh, so buy the pike, sell it back. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. You okay. see me doing that a lot of the time. I'm like, okay, I I I want this sneak later. If it shows up my next shop, that would be nice. So I buy it and sell it. Mm, I totally forgot. Okay, got it. So this way, like pike cannot show up in your next shop, and you're not gonna be. I don't think you can get to twenty gold next turn. Nope. So yeah. like right now, if you get a pike, you could buy it. Yeah, you're at 16. And yeah, I guess pre-leveling would be fine here. Like we ignore what happened in the past. Right now in this situation, pre-leveling would be fine. I might have even been considering going five, which would have been rough, but I think I thought it was the only way Oof. I could keep the streak going. Yeah, I've done it before, so... Um, you, you can do it, with, like, yeah, as I mentioned, if, if you have if you have an item and mm-hmm. if you have chosen. <clears throat> I beat you. Right. Most likely the chosen Yasuo is just gonna smack you really hard. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. Especially since, I mean, Galio got a little nerfed, but even if he hadn't gotten nerfed, Oh, yeah. So you're going, okay, Warlord pivot, why not? Keep your options open. So what do you want now and why? Well, let's see. I don't know what I was thinking in the moment, but I think generally with a sword, I will try to get a bow. Um, to try to get a giant slayer, just because it feels like it flexes into a lot of comps. Uh, okay. With a tier, if I'm stuck with a bad pick, I'll probably try to get another tier here. If, I, if that's the only thing I can do, just to get something active, maybe I can grab a kindred, throw a, throw a blue buff on it. Um, yeah, probably those two. What What do you think about so uh, about glove? Yeah, yeah, Hodge would be good too. Because um... glove can make Hodge. And now that you know how the bags work, if you get another glove, you can make IE. Mm, mm-hmm. So it goes with both my components. So it's a good, t- yeah, that makes sense. And like, if you get another glove, you're fine. If you get another bow, uh, it's like, what are you going to do with another bow? True. Okay. 
So that's why I mean, I mean, the consensus is you should pick up glove on the first carousel, which I don't like doing. I like picking up sword on the first carousel, and then if I don't get a bow or a glove, then I will pick up whatever I need to kind of make items. So let's see, let's see okay. what you what you go for. Your second pick, so should be able. Okay, so there's no bow. You go for the sword. Probably. Yeah, it's fine. So it's fine, yeah. Since you already got one sword, you're picking up another sword, like those might be all your swords this game, so. So what is that, what, are, like, what is this telling you? Like, or what is this telling me? What do you think this tells me if you pick up a sword? Like in terms of direction of the game? In terms, or... of, in, in terms of stage two. Hmm. What exactly are you asking? Uh, like win streaking, loss streaking. Uh, not sure. Not sure which direction. Because uh, I mean, if I slam a death blade here, or um, that's probably not ideal. So probably loss streaking. Yeah. So because I'm, hold I'm holding the components most pick, likely here. Yeah. Picking up the sword says I'm greeting my items right now. Yeah. So just. Like, make sure you're aware of that, and you didn't pre-level, which is good. So you're greeting items. You level up for that. Yeah, good. Oh, actually, oh, you could have just taken the Nami out. Yeah. I should have, yeah. yeah. Uh, wait, was that four? Yeah, if you're taking the Nami out, maybe you could Lulu. Oh no, oh no, oh, no. <laughs> Jin Slam. Oh no. So, so, mm -hmm. so taking the Lulu there, I felt like that was, uh, I, I mean, should I be thinking about that in terms of preserving HP or should I be actively trying to be powerful with when I take that? Because it felt like it was a power spike, but apparently it was not. It's more about preserving HP. Okay, uh, what does Lulu do for you in this comp? What does Lulu do in general? Well, in this comp, it was activating Mage. Uh, in general, she just sustains the team more. Yeah. Like, she helps your front line survive longer so that mm -hmm. you can do more damage, but there's, right. like, no damage output at all. Right. So you leveled into another loss, essentially. Mm -hmm. You didn't learn your lesson on 2-1, so you're, you're going for it again. Mm-hmm. By the way, how many times did you scout this game? Not enough, apparently. I don't see me doing it a lot at all. Yeah. So it's like, it's kind of a risky play, right? Like, if you know people are weak, you can do this. But you don't know because you didn't scout. Yeah, I assume I started scouting it a little bit. And, and really, this early game was so uncomfortable for me because this is the first time I've ever played Mage. Um, okay. And I was just trying, it was taking me my entire turn to figure out what to do. Okay. With the board, so. But essentially, you always want to look at the like. If anyone's at 100 HP, you always want to look at them. Okay. Because those like those are the guys that might beat you. Right. Right. Okay. Do so you position you generally for those people, or do you position for uh, like? I mean, yeah, you I can position, check. I position for those people. Yes. For the top people. Okay. I mean, right now, top people are the first two, but like stage three, you you really can't tell anymore. Because like someone could have hit like a chosen or power spike, or some good items, so mm -hmm. just can't tell. And okay, who should you be positioning for right now? Let's see. Um, probably the losers and trying to. Uh, well, it, so so my first instinct is to say that I would want to lose again here. Yes. Uh, going into Krugs, meaning I would want to look at Kev, uh, Kevin and Rage and try to position shittily against them. Correct. And also, have you played against Kevin and Kevin and Rage? I think I checked that. I I think I played against uh, Kevin at this point, okay. but not Rage. I actually yeah. think I get Rage. Here you can you can you know how to check that. You look at yeah. the little swords yeah. up there. Okay. I, okay. I may do that. I tend to like freak out and do this stuff at the last second because I'm like, oh, I should do this. So we'll see. So you're scouting the top guys. 
And if you win here, it's also kind of oh, there you go. Playing Kevin. L- oh, luckily he got stronger. God. Yeah. Yeah, this is something I don't understand either. Like <laughs> in lower elo, like if you're losing, then just keep losing. Right, and somehow right. they like level up and try to be strong. Like, why is he level five and trying to be strong now? Like good for good for Rage. Rage is on a five loss streak. He's definitely better off than than you and Kevin and Artillery. Mm-hmm. What? Uh, so what's if you're going on a loss streak? What is the like danger zone for HP? Because uh, when I tend to get to like sixty eight, I feel like that's as low as I would ever want to be there if I'm on a five streak. Is there ever a point where you're too low and you need to try to improve your board even though you're trying to loss streak? Oh, dude, I I even open fort sometimes. Like, really. <laughs> Like, how much damage can you actually take on stage two? It's like mm. eight, eight, ten, ten, ten. So that's like 40, 46 at most. So you can get down to 50 something, typically get down to 60 something. Or more, most, of, yeah, most often it's like around 70. So if you're around 70, it's still fine. Okay. I mean, I do, like, my, my last game was just. Like high roll and item summing. Like I was, Krugs. I was fifty gold, five win streak on level four, and then on on three one, I was at sixty four gold. So I could actually slow roll on level four down to fifty, and that was just mm. ridiculous. And that's why I got so so much ahead. Like this is all about economy. This yeah. game is all about economy. Okay. Do you want to keep? Uh, I guess you have the Lulu for now. Like, when when do you sell the Lulu? When when's the right time to sell Lulu? <clears throat> so my default would probably be to um, <clears throat> hang on to her until my next roll down, which would probably be on four uh, one. So okay. I think I probably hold her till then, it, unless I'm trying to think of when I wouldn't do that. Maybe if I were to pick up some board that was strong enough to take her out and <clears throat> leave my chosen slot open. But still not get destroyed. Uh, I guess like as, if you're losing, you can take her out. Like right now, you could just take her out. Just dump her. <clears throat> like you could have sold her on like uh, yeah during Krog, so that next round you could get a potentially good. So what am I? Yeah. So I guess what am I? What am I really looking for if not her? If I have this board, um, like if I sell her on level five, what's the best thing I could hit for my situation? A three cost chosen. Three cost chosen. Okay. That's like that's it. Like almost any three cost chosen. Anything. You just play it. Okay. Um, okay. This is a this is a tough question. <laughs> Who is the like I don't know in yeah, there's okay, there maybe there's two or three. Who can use Shojin in the game effectively? Mm, maybe like Ooh. Pike, Kane, um, they're not benefiting from it much. No, no, they're not. Um, There's two units that can benefit from it relatively well. Yeah, I, I honestly can't think of them. Jinx? Uh-huh, yeah. And, or my Sharpshooters and uh, Morgana. Okay, makes sense. Or, like, essentially Enlightened, but it's typically just Morgana because she's the best Enlightened. Like you don't want to put it on your on your on your talent. Talent, right? Okay. So like once you slam this completely useless item, you kind of gotta go enlightened or sharpshooter. But enlightened is is relatively in my mind still S tier because I more standard. Yeah. Shooter. Okay. That's like somehow how you could salvage this, and you do have a <clears throat> bloodthirster which you should probably slam. So, okay, so with that in mind, so I, I knew I had a Shojin early in the game because I had that tier. So when I took the sword, should I have taken the rod thinking that I need to build uh, Morello for Morgana? Um, Back to the second carousel, or first carousel, whenever that was? The sword was fine. Okay. I would have just greeted the sword and not made the Shojin. Keep it okay, for Okay, what talent. did the Shojin really do for you? You built the Shojin, you still lost the two, next, like the two following rounds, right? Yeah, it's because uh, I have no idea how to play mages, so I actually thought it might have been okay, but yeah, I, I definitely can tell it's not doing anything. Okay, Shojin does nothing on mages because they don't have attack speed. Like, <clears throat> Shojin is good with, with attack speed or with okay. sharpshooter or with enlightened. It's okay. just 
like mages. Yes, Nami is a is a enlightened mage. So if you're playing Nami carry and you had enlightened and mage somehow, like maybe that could work on her. But I don't know, like if you ever build items on Nami, like yeah, yeah, don't really build items on on Nami ever. So. Uh, I think yeah the the Kenny might even be stronger than Lulu right now to be honest. You oh, lose really? edge, but you gain keeper, keeper, and you open up your chosen spot. And like, why is keeper crucial with cultists? Um. I think because the shields count as HP for the the Galio drop, so it would yes, he, he summons while you're higher HP on your important units. He summons while like at least something is alive. Yeah. Or like more stuff is alive. Like right now, I think it's I don't know if it's fifty or sixty percent, but like essentially at least half of your units have to die. Okay. But if you have keeper, maybe like one unit dies, and then you already like drops. Okay, so that actually seems really obvious now that Lulu should be. She's not really nearly as effective as having that open potential for a new chosen. And would I have made income here? I might have made money too. Uh, nope, you wouldn't have. No, lose, lose were five gold. Okay. But you're lost streaking like a boss, even, even with the chosen Lulu. I mean, you're getting, you're getting, like, you're preserving HP. You are preserving HP. If he gets a, uh, wow. Okay. So why do you level up here? Um, that's something that I just do to... So I kind of have a standard timing there where I just try to level to maintain some power, not get completely rolled, and also just increase my chances of getting better units that'll help me figure out where I'm going. Um, also, if I were to... I wouldn't have done it if it would have put me below 30. I think that's my cutoff for it. Okay, okay. I mean, right now, do things your way, but I would definitely just greet it out to 50 here. I, I do that almost every game. No, your I, way is better. I, if that's, I, would, I will do it that way if that's the... I'm not saying it's better. It, it's riskier because you have to be quicker and you have to preserve more HP later down the... Like, mm -hmm. I mean, here you, you only lost one interest, so that's kind of okay. Okay. But I would have just stayed... I would have just leveled up to, to 6 after Carousel because mm -hmm. it, it puts off your level 7. Like, slows down your level 7. So, essentially, like, I don't really care what happens stage 2, stage 3. I just somehow want to get to stage 4 and level 7 and start rolling. If you're lost streaking, right? It's a little less... If I'm win streaking, yeah. If I'm, if I'm win streaking, I, it's not as important. But, like, the whole point is to get, get to level 7 and roll there. Okay. And I don't know, like how much how much time you have. You can you can kind of comb through some of my my latest videos on Europe West. But like one game, it's it's pretty insane. Like I have Lux and a Pike, I think, and I sell the other. I had I was level eight, so I sold the other six units, and then I started rolling for units I want to put in. And I still I think I still managed to get first or second at worst. Hmm. One of one of these games, maybe it was, maybe it was this one. Yeah, I got first, but I think I, I think I sold everything, and then I started rolling. <laughs> got the talent. I, except there. for Lux and Pike, because I knew new Lux and Pike are in my in my final comp if I want to go talent. So it's like, right. just ignore, like not ignore, but like, think about the the final composition you want, and sort of pick up whatever you find along the way. Knowing that you'll probably dump it as soon as you get to seven and can find like real units, not okay. just random stuff you you picked up. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's see how you maximize keeper. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Not gonna say anything. Perfect. Yes. You maximize keeper. It's good. Uh, what are the cloaks for, by the way?
So let's see. What was I thinking at this point? I don't like to slam Declaw. So I was probably, I mean, Spark is one that I tend to slam if I get it. Um, I was thinking maybe if I end up with Talon, I would get a BT. So I was just holding them for now without a real clear idea of what, what, okay. what they were for. You got extremely lucky here that you lost. Yeah, that was extremely close. lucky. Yeah. And I think you're trying to win here, which you shouldn't be. Like, you should, exa like, what you're doing right now is perfect. Like, mitigating HP loss while still losing. That's ideal. Okay, wait, what are, what's going on? Um, okay, you should definitely sell the Callista on TFs. Get to so the, uh, yeah, I may. Good, good, good. I may, let's see. I think I wanted that Shojin on Lulu for a long time and just found, finally found a spot that kind of made sense. Okay, it, it makes very little difference, I think. Yeah, yeah. But it's five mana per auto attack. You are so lucky, dude. <laughs> I know. Um, I guess the thresh cell is fine. Yeah, since you're playing, since you're playing uh, Alice right now, and you are first pick. Like this is this is looking like I don't know how you feel, but I feel <laughs> I see. feel really good. If I was in your spot, I would feel really good right now. I think I did. I was like, these are perfect losses. I'm getting very lucky with how few damage I'm taking. But um, you'll see. I find a way to screw it up. So Okay, because right now it's like, damn. You're playing really well. So I will say, I don't... Like, getting first pick at the carousel, I don't feel like I take very good advantage of that. Because, um, again, I don't have a super clear image of... Like, I know what the good items are on the champs that typically go. But I have to say, I, sh I need to improve at uh, visualizing that up front so I know what I'm going for. Because I, I tend to just kind of scramble here and be like, oh, I There's can use a bow. one thing that, like, screams at me right away. Mm. Anything streaming at you right now as you're looking at it? Uh, I would have to remember my board. Probably the cannon or the bow. There's a ribbon on the carousel. Oh. Ribbon. Hi, ribbon. Yep. Oh. Yep. That's... Like, why Riven is so amazing is because she can use any item. Or, like, almost any item in the game. Yep, yeah, in high You can give her a stupid yeah. chalice, whatever. <laughs> but it's like, you would have a Riven over, over Kenny right now. Yeah, yeah. I tunneled. Yep, that was definitely better. And that, and that might be able to turn your loss streak into a win streak. Might have been able to do that. Mm. Yeah. So, so I wanted QSS. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Riven was definitely better. Okay. So. Oh, this is tough. Since you're losing, like, you're not losing that much. Like, you can breed items. I guess QSS is fine. Like, it's, it's a good item. You put it on Jin, that's fine. But mm -hmm. I, I think I would have picked up the Riven here just to have the Riven already. And I definitely wouldn't have slammed the Shoujin ever, but. You gotta okay. play what you got. So six loss streak is fine. <clears throat> See? I think he picked up the ribbon, right? Yep. And look at that. Blue buff ribbon with a hex tech and an ionic. She just going to town. That could have been you. Uh, by the way, it's nice if you have the damage tab open. It's it's just additional information. I know a lot of streamers don't do it, but I always do it. So I know like what sort of damage I've taken from whom. Okay. So then Easy it's enough. like then I'm then I would know like, okay, so I got like most shit on by Riven. And most of it was magic damage. Like you should, you should know by looking at people's boards whether they're magic damage or not. But it's, I don't know, just additional information. Yeah, makes sense. So yeah, I, I mean, 
even like the top streamers don't do it, but I always do it because it's like there's free information. Give me all the information I can get. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So here you definitely want to lose. I know. Yeah, I'm try to lose and then sell Lulu next round. Yep. Perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think you still managed to lose here. It's going to be close. Oh, that's perfect, perfect. I am a Felios, I guess. I th when I first saw it, I thought I would lose and he would be alive, and I was excited about that. Yeah. Because I felt, I felt like I'd never get through the GA. Look at that. Could, yeah. Look at that. Like 55 HP and an 8 loss streak? That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But this is where I just, I think I blow the game. So what are you, what is your final board going to look like? So right now I'm thinking uh, I'm going to roll until I find pieces like Jin, Cultist pieces, Ribbons, uh, Cassio, Thresh. So either Dusk yeah. or or cult center, depending on what I find. Um, and so I think I collect both right here. It's always dusk, it's never cultist. Six cultist is whatever. That's a transition piece, okay. I mean, yeah, if, if you get them, you can pick them up, but like you're, you're aiming for dusk. Got it, got it, okay. Okay. So you don't care about the talent. Yeah, I guess. Uh... Should, I have, should I have gone talent as well, just in case? Uh, well, you're a rod off from, you could have IEQS, yeah, you, you don't really have town items, no, never mind. But the Jinx, Jinx is the perfect user for Shoujin. Mm, okay. And you should know that. Uh, even as like a transitional unit, like right now, I don't know what the, what the hell the Vigar's doing in there, for example. Yeah, it makes right. sense. So I should be, okay, so, so should sharpshooters be on my mind at all right now? As a comp? Um, Specifically, I mean, you can forget about it because you have a show. Like, this is never going to happen again. You're never going to have a show. Yeah, again, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. like, never again. But right, right now, uh, Sharpshooter Jinx with a Shoujin is actually pretty good because she stuns okay. a lot. So, I mean, somehow, if, if you end up in the same position, like, you don't, like, even, okay, even if you don't have the Shoujin, why should you get the Jinx? I'll just throw it in with uh, Jin. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's better than exactly. better than Viger, obviously, because I lost Mage, so now Viger's just yep. do, yeah. But I uh, see. <laughs> I try to do this quickly, and um, I don't really process this stuff. Like right now, my brain, I'm definitely just thinking like, where cultists, where are uh, dusks, and what chosen can I pull here and work around. So here you have Evelyn and Zed, which is also better than uh, Callista and Viger. I don't know mm, why the Callista's yeah. there at all. Yeah. You said you don't know why the Callista's there. Okay, so you're saying that uh, six cults should not even be on my mind. Uh, I think it's just weak. Okay. I, I, I mean, on seven, it's weak on seven because you don't, like, if you don't have a chosen, you're playing six units board. that don't synergize at all. Yeah. Apart from the, from the Galio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, okay. So, like, what you could do is six cultists plus Jinx. Six cultists plus Riven, maybe. I, I mean, I guess. I, I, can't hate, like, I can't hate on it. I know six cultists does relatively well, but I just don't play six cultists. Like, if you get, I don't know. I just, I just skip them. I just, I just keep three, if three at all. Cool, okay. Maybe, maybe six can work, but like, I'm, I'm not saying don't do it. But then you should be picking up the Evelyn, right? But don't force it. Yeah, I shouldn't be forcing it. Yeah, and I missed. I just missed her for sure. Yeah. Okay. I should have grabbed her. hundred percent. Yep. Ooh, enlightened Jana. That's that's kind of nice. Yeah, but it's yeah, and there's a Lux. But later, now you can't play enlightened anymore. So uh, yeah, I love enlightened Jana. At this point, though, in my head, I'm like, I, I'm just like, it's too late. At seven to grab her. It is too late. Uh, how how low are you gonna roll here? 
Probably to like so worst case if I hit nothing, I would probably go to like twenty here or thirty. Okay. Um, so it's best too case, maybe. The okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, just like the the Maokai and the Silas, like you have usable items for for Ash as well. Oh, true. I wasn't even thinking about Ash, but you're right. I could have just picked up the Werewolf. There's two more Brawlers. Yep, yep. You can pick up the Lux. Lux works well if you ha if you hit Ezreal later, so it's like that's the that's like that's like the whole point of a roll down. It there's a lot of skill expression in the roll down. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes you're rolling for something in particular, but sometimes you can flex. And we're gonna go back a little bit. No, because I took the wolf, I 100% should have started taking the brawlers. Yep. I uh. So what do you need to do right now? Well, Scout. Yes. Okay. Good. See what see what other people are going and uh, yes. use that to kind of uh, direct my roll down. Exactly. Okay. Right. Like how how can you roll right now and and decide that you want to go cultus ribbon? What if three other people are going cultus ribbon as yeah, well? Yeah. 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 Uh huh. And what if what if no one is going no one is going brawler ash? Then I really if, want to start grabbing brawlers. No one brawlers. is going brawler yeah. ash. I would just like try to pick up a few brawlers, sell my whole board, and full pivot. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Based, so based se so seven. Is... Mm. Seven is yeah. early enough to to basically restart the game. You're saying if if you have an open lane to change comps completely. Um. Okay. Ideally, it's eight. I like doing it on eight. Oh, you can but still for go that, eight. You, okay. need to, you need to have a, a crazy win streak. For example, one of my games, I had four vanguards with a, with a vanguard thrash, and I think I got a pretty wicked win streak. So on four, five, after carousel, I, I could get to eight, and then I rolled down there. So okay, I, so you just I, skip I, this step. Like, it's seven if you're, if you're lost streaking. Okay. And it's eight if you're win streaking. It's four five eight, so it's like a fast eight. If you yeah, okay, you 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 can't really eight on four two or four like yeah, it's it's four five like just go to eight as soon as you can like and still maintain economy. Okay, typically like here it's kind of risky, but again I would probably level on four two. I don't I don't value HP that much because it's perfect interval. Four so two. You have more gold to roll, and you'd be on a perfect interval. So that's just oh, really? again like. What I would do personally. That's like me personally. I know everybody does it on four one. I just do it on four two because it's all about that like economy edge. You would go eight on four two? No, 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 seven on four two. Ah. Instead of on four one. What hap so what's can you explain that again? So on seven when you go four. What, I'm sorry, on four one when you go seven, what's the difference here? It's it's just a different interval because I'm at two instead of zero. Yeah. You just okay. wasted four gold. Got it. And Okay, so maybe it's a skill thing. Maybe maybe I'm just tooting my own horn, but I have time to scout on on four one and see what people like roll down and. Oh down. yeah, that's a good point. And then on four two, I'm like, okay, so I can see that no one's actually going ash or like, cause one of that's my a really games, good point. yeah, one of my games where I got second and I was a bit tilted. I got second with like brother Ash. Cause no, like I scouted the lobby on on three seven whatever the creep round is, and then I'm like, okay, so Ash Balls is completely open, so I essentially sold my whole board and I started rolling down because I was kind of unhealthy, and then I played against a guy who had better brawlers and an Ash already. I'm like, what the hell is this? Mm. He got it on like four one four two. I was concentrating on my own board and like, oh no, like someone went for the comp I wanted to go and rolled down and got it faster and stronger and better. Okay, so. so so yeah, so like if your items are really, really pointing you in one direction and your board is already pointing you in one direction, would 4-1 just be better so that you're getting the jump on people who are also trying to compete? Or Because sure. I see sure. I see what you're saying where like 4-2 could be really advantageous if you're flexible because you can just take a direction that no one else is taking and get all yeah. the two stars. Yeah. And you try get that. four extra gold and you get a lot like more extra gold from, from your interest and all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. And to be honest... Um, your your mindset one to twenty is good. Sometimes I roll to zero if I'm desperate. 
So it's 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 more about like how desperate you are rather than I want to sit on twenty. Sure. Okay. So yeah. So seven. Yeah. And I, I just have these arbitrary things in my head. Like seven, I, I try not to go to zero because I want to eventually hit eight. Eight, I'm I'm fine going to zero. But you're saying that it's just it's all board dependent. Okay. It you're doesn't... at fifty five HP. Yeah. Your board is complete trash. Yeah. You got to find something, buddy. Like okay. And it's like even if you get to twenty and you still don't find anything, like okay, I, I want to get a top four. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm aiming for. Casio, perfect. Cultist, there you go. Nope. Oh, what? You took out the. Oh, you took out the trash. Good, 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 good. Uh, Vigar still there. Oh, nice. You took out Vigar as well. Perfect. Yeah. You hit. Good. You hit. Somehow I messed this up and take out six called next round, I think. We'll see. <laughs> Showed it on her. Well, I mean, why not? Yeah. I'm planning to get rid of her uh, at this point. And yeah, there's your uh, powerful Galio. <laughs> oh wait, he has a Galio as well. Never mind. No, he doesn't. Does he? Or he doesn't know? Mm, no. Tough, tough. And there's the Ash. But I guess you're already like now. You're already kind of committed. Mm-hmm. Um, again, it's and my board sucks. Desperation thing, but I. Don't think uh, Cultist Elise is good. Cultist Elise, you mean? Evelyn, sorry. Yeah, no, I know. I, I. So should I not have sat on fifty here? Should I have dumped her again? Um. Okay, if you like, now you can sit pretty if you win a bit. But if not, then you're just good. Um, what what's a unit you should put in right now? Never mind, my bad. You you can't put in. Uh, oh yeah, you can. You can put in the the Z over. Z, the, Z, Z. I guess. Over I was, who? I was gonna say over Sejuani, but you can't put in over Sejuani because you have a ninja. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, oh no, but you will lose keeper. Uh, it's tough. Shade versus keeper. Yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe it's fine, but it's okay. Um, the most important thing. Is you don't have a sharpshooter, which you could have had with the jinx, yeah, yeah, okay. So I don't know. It's the math is okay. Thirty five percent more damage, yeah, thirty five percent more damage. So sharpshooter is two shots, and the second one is sixty five reduced. So you essentially jinx over Sejuani is thirty five percent more damage on your Jin, which is your main damage output. And I have my items on them, yeah, okay, yeah. <clears throat> And there's another Jinx, please. Yeah, yeah, you can see I'm not even I'm not even thinking about it as an option. Yeah. So instead of like this trash, like uh, Evelyn and um, Callista and Elise and even Pike, like they're all trash. Mm -hmm. Like you would want. Uh, where's the Cassio, by the way? Shit. Cassio was gone. Oh, did I sell it? I sold it. Okay. Um, and I, yeah, yeah. So what, it, can you tell me your cultist comp that you want? Yeah, so Cassio's in it, which is weird. I uh, I, I guess I went to 40 really quick and, and sold her. But ultimately, if I go six cults, I have, I follow, uh, I go Dusk, so I get the Cassio. She gives me Mystic because I ultimately want to play Zelan. Exactly. Um, and I want Aatrox in there, and that's why I have the Sejuani. So it's it's the six best cultists, and then um, Cassio, Riven, and uh, Sejuani. That would be the eight comp if I had a cultist chosen. Okay. It's just funny that you're mentioning six best cultists. I don't know if <laughs> that's a thing, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, not the ones I haven't. Like, I would not play Eve. I would not play uh, Pike. It would be like Zelan, Jin, Aatrox, so Chosen Elise or something. You want, what I kind of have success with is uh, Dusk. Or Dusk with Riven. Riven, it's, it's Riven and Jin. Those are the stars of the show, right? Yeah. So I, think I, go, I think I try to get there in this game. I do, but... 
But like in general, what does what does Jin need? Oh, are you asking? Sorry, what items? No, no, not items, but like what does like synergies? Uh sharpshooter. And ribbon. Dusk. And that's the only thing you care about. You only care about Jin and ribbon. You only want to itemize Jin and ribbon, or like best items on them, and the rest is whatever. Got like, it. Wh what is this? I have an Azir, I have a Set, a Zillion, and a Lilia. But doesn't this look relatively strong? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good I, way I to put it. I want this. I want with this with a Lilia, two Zillion, Set, and Azir. And then I had Wayne for for Sharpshooter and Dusk. Like Wayne that's... is such a pivotal unit. Like Wayne is a, just a synergy bot essentially, but you really want to have Wayne. It's important though. Yeah. Okay. And the same the same thing here. I I went for six Dusk. I don't know why. Oh yeah, my ribbon items were yeah, my ribbon items were kind of trash, and I oh I know why I couldn't hit Zillion two or Lydia two, I would really want to. And this guy had uh, some oh yeah he had a really oh yeah I I messed up because I didn't have a giant slayer on my gin that was that was mm. the problem. What what are perfect what are perfect gin items? Um, I guess I E giant slayer QSS maybe or I E giant okay. slayer GA, but you definitely want a giant slayer not a death blade. But as you can see, I didn't have any. Any damn bows. I only had like out of the items, but no bows. So, okay. You make a giant slayer. But here, when I made a giant slayer, boom, first. Cool. So, these, at least in my mind, these are the perfect items. And that's why I go sword. Because I want these items on my gin. I want these items on my talon. I want these items on my ash. Same items, ash. And similar items, Yasuo. And where's my talon? Same items, talon, essentially. Deathblade, Infinity Edge, Bloodthirster. Okay, cool. So, it's like, that's why I, I love going sword and I love the flexibility. Like Jin, Ash, and Talon have the same items. So it really like I get to seven and I start rolling and whatever I start hitting, that's where I pivot to. If I had a chosen Morgana, this was a chosen Morgana. Instantly going instantly going um enlightened. I had cool, a chosen okay. chosen ribbon. So instantly going this comp. And I think I had a chosen Elderwood. So it's Elderwood. Cool. So you're not you're not super concerned with Morgana items. It's just more about Talon being. Uh, Morgana is uh, more alone on my con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but if you don't have that, and you you hit the chosen Talon. You have a bunch of swords. If you don't have that. It's kind of tough because Morgana okay. is essentially the better carry than like better carry than Talon because Morgana softens softens them up. Like with if I hadn't hit Talon three because I econ really well here. If I hadn't hit, him, I lost. Like I was okay. losing to the second guy. Because look, look at his board. It's like really powerful. Mm, yeah, yeah. But then Talon 3 just cleaned up. Like he just went boom, boom, boom. Everything was dead. So, I mean, I, Econ really hard. Econ is <clears throat> even more important now that they, they uh, changed the raw probabilities on 8. It's only 20% chance to get a 4 cost rather than 25. So it's harder to 3-star your units now. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it takes like essentially like more macro skill in order to be right. able to... So there's your uh, huge Galio six, which you're still gonna get shredded by. Oh, okay. <laughs> last week over. Okay. What does last week over mean? Probably should try to get strong here. Yeah. It's your. Oh, there you go, Kenny. What? What I miss, Kenny? I miss Kenny. Yeah. I knew. I, I knew I missed it. I did. <laughs> I think you're still so so weak. I know it's a really weak. That's yeah. That's why I sent you this one because I felt like I was not playing it very well. Like no offense, but if I was playing against like someone with this board, like what the hell is this? <laughs> I know it's this level one gen. Because this is kind of like this is kind of what I face. Like, I mean, no offense, but like yeah, I'm playing in platinum and like half the time, like what is this? Like why is the board so weak? Just put together a competent board. Mm-hmm. Like why? Maybe he didn't hit an Ari yet, but like, yeah, he needs he needs an Ari and uh, another spirit. Yeah, Ari and Kindred, and then his then his head will pop off. So I mean, so you're saying it should be so. Is this a certain timing that you're thinking? Like level seven right now, four three. You just have a feel for what the, what a strong board should be at this point in time. Um, is it more re relative to like their gold? left or i mean if they're uh it's relative to your hp okay 
you're gonna be like you're gonna survive till stage five. I can tell you that. But then you gotta roll like then you gotta level up to eight, sell your chosen, and roll like a god. Okay. And like actually like roll competently and hit. So it's more like I wouldn't mind if this was your board, but you were a bit healthier. Or you were level eight or something. But it's like you have a very weak board. You kind of have some gold, but your HP is kind of low. So this is too this HP is too low to be sitting here on on forty with a crappy board. Just not. I should be a little more panicking now, trying to get strong. Um, you won twice in a row. I would just chill okay. and try to hit eight, and then roll again for Riven. That's that's what I think I do. Yeah. Let's um, see. but now you're now you're finally scouting. So I think two people are going Riven. Maybe one person going Riven. Maybe two people are going Riven. Right. Yeah, and someone has a gin too. Okay. Someone but has a I don't see any ashes, actually. Do I? Did we see any ashes? I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, why the hell are you not going ash? I know. Yeah. yeah. It's too late to pivot now. It is too late to pivot now. But like, as soon as you get to four one, and ash is like not being touched at all, like grab that. So okay, so four one is not too late to start grabbing brawlers and ash if. Oh, if four one is 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 the pivot, or four one four two is the pivot round. As okay, I told cool. I like the the game I showed you. I had the only thing I had was Lux, and a and a Pike, and I sold my whole board and I kept Lux and Pike and I pivoted into Enlightened. You can you can I can I can pull up the video for you, when once we're done with this. Like I just sold my whole board. I'm like okay, I know where I want to go. No one's going that comp, and that's where I'm going. But I had okay. I had a like. Relatively strong early game. And strong early game is based on a good chosen. And your chosen was trash. Yep. Like Lulu Lulu Mage, like Elderwood Lulu, if you're play, if you're going for uh, Ash, why not? Elderwood Lulu is cool. But Mage Lulu, no thank you. Mm hmm Okay. I think I have a list somewhere in my uh, compositions or something. I have a list of the chosens and how I value them. On Discord. Okay, I'll take a look at that. And again, it's like my personal opinion. I don't completely agree with, with what like other pros are saying or like other challenges, but I'm just telling you what's working for me. Cool. Like for example, I don't I don't play. I played Ari like once. I don't really like AP comps right now yet. So I'm just going AD. That's just my play style right now. So it's always Jin, Ash, or Talon for me. I, I like that though. I like how you said that all the carry items sort of transfer over to. You can switch them between Ash, Jin, or Talon. Makes it easy. That's why. That's why I love like the yeah. flexibility. So my plan now is to, uh, to roll down after Raptors. Yep. And dump this Eve and see what I can do. Probably go. I think I go Dusk here. Yep. That's good. If that happens, but, perfect. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, and, and like you're not doing anything wrong, but what I personally dislike about keepers is it kind of forces you into certain positioning. Yeah, yeah. So you're not positioning for anyone, you're just positioning so your keepers get the biggest benefit. I mean, versus this guy, it's actually f fine, but in general, it's a bit frustrating. But nice, yeah, you stun. Um, I don't know if you can kill. Oh, maybe, yeah, okay, maybe you have enough. Damage. Mm. It's gonna be close. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, that comp is just so frustrating and so broken. Oh, we have Cultist Keeper. Oh. Uh, sell the Kenneth. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sell the yeah the chosen. Yeah, good, good. good. So the chosen is gone. That's good. But yeah, that chosen could be a BT or something, or a death blade on Jin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not even punished. Uh, you buy the thresh here for sure. Okay. 
Okay. Um, oh, yeah, you sold the Eve. Uh, you don't need Callista. You don't need Pike. Got it. Yep. You're never, you're never three-starring units that don't have any items. And they don't really have utility. What, like, what units do you think you could three-star if they're, if they're naked? On the top of your head. Like in a, in a game like this? Like a dust game? Um, yeah, in a dust game, sure. Give me, give me Probably not. Uh, I wouldn't three-star anything. Exactly. So yeah. the, the units you three-star are uh, brawlers. Like if you just naturally get them. Uh-huh. Right, like if you have a three star buy, why not? Okay. Uh, typically, it's one, one or two, like one and two costs. Yeah, yeah. So yeah like okay. Jana's really good. Um, sometimes I three star Irelia, but it's only if I put items on her. But it's like usually like Jana, Lulu, uh, the Brawlers, and that's generally it. And like if you if you're gonna use it like a like a Wayne three star Wayne wouldn't be too bad. Mm-hmm. But in general, okay. like you don't want naked three star Callista. It's just way, way, way too much gold. Um, I don't know why you're getting the Yon. All right. Oh, for Callista. No, wait. He's an adept. Yeah, the Yon doesn't do anything. Good. Okay. So five cultists. Oh my god. Wow. Um. I, right here, I just didn't have enough time to figure out a good board, but um, I, I know I know this Eve isn't it. Over Eve, over Sichuani. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the round where I said I forgot that I yeah. could uh, yeah. get six calls in. Yeah. I don't know why you're clicking and panicking because you do have enough time, but yeah. I attempt to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Correct. Okay, please tell me you. Yeah, Titans and GA. Okay, and uh, Jazz. Okay, items are fine. Items are fine. So if it was a. A little too slow. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. But the thing is, Dusk, like right now, if you had six Dusk, it's way better than six Cultist. Just trust me on this. I believe you. No, I yeah, I, I actually am going to remember that uh, at this point in the game, just not start looking for the Threshes and the Lilias and pieces like that. Start going towards dust. Uh, Lilias, you're looking for the Threshes and the Wanes. You gotta have. Should already have. Yeah, got it. Because I, like, I passed a bunch of them. Have like a random, like even one star, random Thresh, random Wayne. Like you, you want to have a Wayne in there anyway for Sharpshooter, right? Right. Right. Okay. So like now you either put an. You put an Eve over Sejuani. Oh, you don't even... Oh, you don't have... Shit, you don't have Aatrox. Yeah, you put an Aatrox for sure. But you don't have Aatrox. So there's... Wait, what? Okay. There's your cultist. So what do you take out? Oh, wait, did you have two pikes? What did you have? Did I? I might have. No, you take. No, you take out that. Oh, okay. And then you. Oh, you take out. No, 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 no. Yeah, you. No, you had the Casio in there. Yeah, the Casio. Wait, what? You need Casio Resilient. You definitely need. You definitely need uh, Mystic. Mystic. Aatrox. Mystic. Yeah. And then Callista should come out for no no no. Um, Sedge comes out. Okay, the comp is the, I get, the comp oh. I want you to play. If I can be so blunt, the comp I wanted to play is Riven, Zillion, um, Jin, Aatrox. Yeah, those are the four units you have. Yeah, mm-hmm, Riven, mm-hmm. Zillion, Aatrox. And Jin. And the ones you're missing are Cassio, Wayne, Thresh, and uh, Lilia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this close then at least get kicked. You would have yeah. 
six dusk and uh, three three cultists and you have you would have sharpshooters and essentially you would have um one of these boards yeah i hate 23 here because 23 because i just pick it up when i roll like but this is where is it i don't know if i have six dusk on this account maybe not but it's like it's this comp here it is six dusk okay so cool, cool i had a dust pad yeah so it's like yeah, yeah this is the comp so and you realize that six cultists are weak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and think you don't, you don't yeah. even have sharp, like, it's all about, so, like, who is your carry in this comp? I'm trying to make it Jin uh, and Riven. you trying, okay. I, I, like, I like your wording there. <laughs> yeah, because Jin right now is not doing shit. <laughs> effectively, who is your carry in this comp right now? I mean... I actually don't know who's better, Jin with three items or Riven with one level two. Probably, probably Riven. I would say no one. Like look, like <laughs> looking at <laughs> this that. board, there's no carry. Like, yeah. You have two dusk and a Riven, and one item on the Riven. You Should have... I roll to zero for this Jin? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's what I thought but, I'd. Fucked but up. you yeah. need you need charge shooter. Jin is useless without charge shooter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying like Jin is not the carry because there's no sharpshooter. Riven's not the carry because there's no dusk. So maybe Sejuani's the carry because like at least she has Vanguard Morello. and Morello, mm. which Riven can use Morello as well. And then you have like these completely useless cultists like uh, Elise, Evelyn, and uh, Kalista. Those are like those units do absolutely nothing. Yeah, okay. And you're not playing Cassio and you're not playing uh, Wayne. That's why you're you're feeling weak. Yeah. I used to have problems with, with, with uh, Caldus as well. I used to play Caldus. I'm like, I have six Caldus. I should be winning. And it's like, um, oh. Yeah, I think it's, it's exactly... I'm thinking too much about that buff. But it's that, that part of the game's over. It's stage five. Yeah. If you have nine Caldus, maybe. But it, even that, it's kind of meh. With nine yeah. cultists, you just need you need Jin. Like, you always need uh, something. You need a sharpshooter for Jin. That's like you gotta remember that. That's the most important thing about running Jin carry. You're saying okay. Well, I mean, Jin, Jin wanted nothing. But look at Riven. Look at Riven. That's Riven with the Titans. Imagine yep. if she had. That's Riven with just Titans. Imagine if she had like, uh, if you had four cultists, mm -hmm. uh, for um, Dusk, for example. For Dusk, for Riven. If you put the Morello on Riven, if you put in Cassio, so she would she would be able to tank more. I guess there's Jin, but like tank more magic. By the way, he's playing your comp just better. Yep. yep. Yeah. And you could have prevented getting into this situation by by scouting. Oh, you missed the you missed the Wayne. I don't know if you were even aware of Wayne. Mm -mm. I I would have been. I w I would have taken it if I had been more careful here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice as there. Okay. So probably where dust goes in. And I give up on cults. Yes, please do. Yes. Please. Bye, Elise. Oh, you have three keepers. Oh, whatever. I think the Vanguard buff is is reasonable, right? There's an Ash player. There's Jins. Yep. I think Vanguard is actually okay. Three keepers is irrelevant right now. So it's definitely Aatrox over Elise. Yeah, yeah. I actually think he goes back in. We'll see. Nice. I mean, it's not good, but it's not as bad as, as last round, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just too late. Like, I did all this too late. Yeah. And I yep. took too much damage. Because I, I think I do get kind of strong um, this next round, because I find Jin. But it's just, like, any loss now, and I'm done. So I don't really have the room. I think I play the Aphelios player. Okay, what is the best item here? 
Oh, let's see. So <clears throat> I think I'm thinking I want a Bramble here to put on Riven just to block yep. all the incoming AD shit. So, right. okay. And second best thing to pick up here. Mm, so TG or Jeweled Gauntlet is my first guess, but um, I don't know who for. Like the, the Gauntlets probably don't go on anyone. My comp and TG, I don't know who I'd put that on. Jin, you pick up the Jin. I don't Jin. know if you have a Jin. Oh, on the yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if you have I a do, Jin. I do, I do. Yeah, so you pick up the Jin. 100%, yeah. So it's either it's either Bramble for Riven, because Riven's doing the most damage, or it's Jin for, for Jin. Jin too. But if you if you don't have Sharpshooter, then it's not worth it. So the correct play is Bramble. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, once. Yeah. So yeah, at least out for eight rocks. But you definitely need uh, you definitely need a sharp, Sharpshooter. Dude, I would have I would have actually if I had been aware because I just wasn't paying attention to the gin and thinking of it as a unit upgrade. But I would have taken that if I had thought about it. Yeah. So it's always, that... it's always like these late carousels. Uh, I mean, that's why I got second place. Where did I get second place? I showed you the second place over here. The mm -hmm. second place. That's thanks to the Lilia with Sunfire Cape. I got oh, it from carousel? carousel. Obviously, Sunfire yeah. Cape is not a Lilia item, but she was on the carousel. And you hit so the dusk with that. I was about to die, but then on 6-3 carousel, I got Lilia. And then I survived this round, and then I died because this guy was way stronger, and I had no way to kill the Annie. Hmm. But that was just because I got Lilia, because I'm like, okay, I don't need any more items, but I do need another Dusk, and I got the Lilia. So that's kind of, cool. yeah. yeah. Um, stage 5 carousel, especially for item carousel, it's often, like, based on your HP, like, here right now, it's not an item carousel anymore. It should be a unit carousel for you. Okay. Or like if you need a unit, essentially, like if you need trying a to unit. fill in pieces, yeah. yeah. But I mean, your your ribbon is like one item, so yes, you definitely need more items for ribbon. Like you're you're almost getting there. Like if you sell the the Sejuani, you put the Morello on on ribbon, you get rid of uh, like Elise or something. Good, and yeah, you're you're one Wayne and one Lilia off a really strong board. And you should, dude. Agency, <laughs> you gotta huh? find a gin. I, I think I do. I think I do. You gotta like this re repositioning is wonderful, but like right now, if you don't hit a gin, you're dead. I think I do. I think I get lucky here. But let's like, I don't best know, priority I, I, number one. I would roll saying. first roll rather first. than okay, sure, sure. Reposition, like you can reposition afterwards. Yeah. By the way, who or what are you repositioning for? I don't know. I just do this late game. Because, I don't know. I don't know what I'm repositioning for. This is just how I tend to set up after. I, I, I like to declump when it gets really late, so I don't just get murdered by something. But Final no, there's fight. no. Yeah, there's no specific thought. It's just yeah, do it. So okay. You, you told me you play StarCraft. Mm -hmm. You scout in StarCraft, right? You want to yeah. see if their army's moving out. You want to see what they're doing. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, Karen. That means you get you get a scan. That's pretty cool. You get a scan. So imagine you can scan every single board. It costs you zero. Is it mana as well? Or what is it? Energy. Zero energy. Mm -hmm. Zero energy scan on everyone's board. You can still you can still call down all your <laughs> what are they all the called? <laughs> yeah, you, you still have all your mules and you have infinite scans. Use the infinite scans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Like declumping, okay. You declump if there's a Katarina. If there, okay, you know what is Katarina positioning? Katarina mm, positioning center. is you have you want one of these. I don't know if you see my cursor, but you want one of the yep. the guards where the guard is right now, and you can put Jin in one corner and something else in the other corner. I, I used to do that. Like I had kind of like two units in the front on the left, two on the right, and then like one in the back and one in the back over here, something in the middle. So Katarina would jump and she would get stuck on the guards. And oh, Jin spin. Mm. If she would spin, she would kill like either the right side or the left side. But she couldn't she couldn't just clear everything out. Here, Katarina jumps like in front of one of the guards and clears everything out. Okay. If if there's a Katarina, I don't know. You need to know. Like you need to know each game what you're setting up, what you're setting up for. That's really important. Okay. 
And you have three vanguards. Oh crap. Okay. Yeah, that's because the Sejuani is not not supposed to be there. Okay. Yeah. So Sejuani shouldn't be there, and the Emperor is cool, but I think uh, yeah, I think Wayne and uh, what did I say before? Wayne and Lilia would be better over Sejuani and the Emperor. Yeah, that would be your end game comp with this. Okay, cool. So you're you're almost there. You're almost there. So you're re like that's like just to draw the point. Like I know I I don't want to make fun of you too much, but it's like you're repositioning, but you don't know for what. So it's like no, yeah, no, it's just a habit. Yeah, I have no reason at all to do it. So I just like, yeah. When you laughed at me, like you a click your army that way, like. It's like I know where they're. Maybe they have a third. Maybe they have an expansion there. Just a click over there, and mm. that's it. Like without scanning, without actually looking into it, you just a click your army. Mm -hmm, so you mm -hmm. told me like you don't do that in StarCraft. So that's the same thing you're doing. Like you're just okay. My army is going over here for no particular reason. I just think I need to rearrange it. So so here's how um this is how I think about it. So uh, if you're playing TVZ and like you have an army on the map and it's in a clump, um yeah. you. Pre, you know, you pre-split so that you don't have to do as much micro when you do get hit with a bunch of bandlings and lings. And mm -hmm. I guess I think of it the same way, where I think this is better than a clump, and I don't know why. But if that's, you know, that may be wrong, but that's just where I'm thinking. It I'm is thinking, better. Okay. It is better. You're right. It is better. But it's against Aphilios, like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Against so, uh, against Set, this is terrible. Against mm -hmm. Set, you want you want to split up more, because Set will like. Grab half of your front line. He can just grab your Sejuani and slam it like into your back line. So in in my head, because this game there were I think there were two Zed players. So I think I think this is good against Zed, and and I'm sure it's not. But that's I think that's where I'm at. I'm trying to. Okay. Somehow, okay. Yeah. Okay. Look at the last three players you played. Uh huh. Then you look at who you could who you can play. Uh huh. And you move to the side where Zed is not jumping, and you put like two guards next to Zed. Zed will kill the guards. The guards have zero attack, so he doesn't get any attack. He just Fucks around with the guards for, I don't know, five seconds of the fight. If you put the guards where Zed is, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's like, like you, you said TVZ, but you're playing TVZ, TVT, TVP, and like T mm -hmm. versus all random at the same time. And you, you, you got to narrow it down as much as you can. So you know, like, you can kind of guess who you're playing. And the best way to do this is. Um, well, right now, you, you look at the last three players you played, and then you look at the other ones you haven't played, and you position against the one who can smack you the hardest. Got it. Okay. Because, like, you cannot, you don't have a life to lose right now, so you need to position against the, the strongest opponent and hope you beat him. Cool. Makes sense. Yeah. And please roll first before positioning. This is so, like... And you're gonna, oh my god, you're gonna roll now. Oh, what now? What now? What do you do? Panic, panic, panic. <laughs> Why is the cat arena still there? <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, I must uh, win this. Oh, okay. Uh, there should be like some order of operations. It's okay, it's like roll, scout, position in that order if you're gonna roll. Otherwise, scout position. Okay. <clears throat> It's never position, then roll, and then sc don't scout. Like, and essentially, okay, the, the timer is 30 seconds now. So you can roll up to 20 seconds, ideally. Like, roll up to 20 seconds and then scout for the next five and position for the next five. As like a general rule of thumb. Okay, cool. That's helpful. I'll do that. And if you're not rolling, then you have. 25 seconds to scout and five seconds, or like 20 seconds to scout and 10 seconds to position. Okay. But you should be doing like, I don't think, yeah, look, thinking, looking back, I don't think you were scouting even the rounds when you weren't rolling. Yeah, not really, no. Yeah, it's all about like these small minor victories. Like you understand like StarCraft, how micro works. Yeah. So yeah. why I love this game even more than StarCraft is because. I get to decide where every unit goes before the fight, and I don't have to micro. I just put them in the right place, and they do their thing. Right? Like, right now, yeah. <clears throat> Aatrox should, 
Oh no, Aatrox is gonna hit hit the the Emperor clone or whatever Emperor unit, and he's gonna try to hit the Jin. He's gonna do nothing. For example, mm -hmm. um, here he he outpositioned you. Like he outpositioned your Aatrox. Look look at look at his Aatrox. His Aatrox is gonna grab your, uh, I guess Zillion and Azir. Maybe okay, maybe not Zillion, but like definitely Azir. Okay, he died. You got lucky there. Okay. But his like, why is Jin not in the corner? Can you give me one reason why Jin isn't in the corner? Nope. He's probably he has a be. QSS. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah. a QSS on Jin so that he does not get pulled by Aatrox, and then you don't put him in the corner. And poor little Azir is is there. Lucky he didn't get grabbed. Wow, what what was that? What the <laughs> hell know. was that? That was that was the oh yeah, that was the ribbon, I guess. If it looked like it. Yeah, ribbon's just so powerful. Yeah, that was nice. A wave. That's Titans. That is Titans on the ribbon. Cool. Cool. Good. Good stuff. Too bad you sold the Casio. Did you have to? You didn't have no. Why do you have? Yeah, you shouldn't have sold the Casio, but whatever, whatever. Which one? Oh, they have two. The Casio. You sold the Casio for some reason. I have one on board. Right? Oh, I, oh, I did. Hmm. Instead of selling, instead of selling the Caterina, you sold the Casio. Oh, okay. And yeah, you're somehow you're positioning for something, but you you didn't look at anyone's board at all. Like this whole time, you didn't look at anyone's board. Yeah, I'm just clenching at this point. Okay, but this is where skill comes in and you get to flex. You get to scout everyone's board and you get to think like, okay, how do I macro this? Like, how do I position my units? Yeah, yeah. So for example... Um, one thing, yeah. So one thing about that is uh, I, I can take in the information of what I'm seeing and still not be super sure like I, I kind of want to figure out an order of operations for what positioning beats what that's something i'm not too too sure on so like you said the atrox pool so i look for atrox pools what are, what are some other common things i should be looking at when i'm scouting to, to look out for uh look at okay units and their abilities and mm -hmm. items so for example right now uh the sejuani is going to get bursted by the by the kindred if okay. Riven was where, where Sejuani is, she would not get bursted by Kindred. Why not? Mm, she's tankier. Uh, Bramble counters Jeweled Gauntlet. Crits. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. So Kindred does, I think, 250% or like something crazy with her crits right now because she has double Jeweled Gauntlet. So she's going to double, double tap Sejuani. I think maybe maybe triple tap, but maybe even double tap. While Riven with the Titans, I mean with the Bramble, would negate most of the damage. So HP wise, mm. HP wise, Sejuani has a little bit more HP, but Riven has a better item, better item to counter the Jewel Gauntlet. Got it. Jin uh, could be in the corner, doesn't have to be in the corner. Um, yeah, the guards. I guess you have the guards for you said for shades. So why not? That that's fine. Um, Cassio is the second row, so she can she can stun more yep. people. Yep. You want Cassio where there's a clump of units. So ideally, you want Cassio like where the werewolf and the new new and the kindred is, so she can stun all three. Okay, front row, second row. Second row, like uh, okay. one star is definitely second row. Two, Two star, star maybe front row. Front row her maybe. Okay, cool. Not solo front row, but like with a bunch of other units, you can front row her. Okay. Uh, what else? Ash. Ash is useless here. She has Blast Whisper, which and she's one star. Yeah, so yeah. the biggest threat is Kindred. So I would assess that the biggest threat is Kindred. I would focus on the Kindred. So so find the biggest threat and then position accordingly. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. And Riven's gonna be playing with with Set, which is not good. She can never kill him with with the Dragon's Call. So she would never kill the set. Okay. And Jin is not gonna smack him either. And I think he's oh yeah, Riven is good because Riven's gonna dash behind him, so he should grab her and smack her away from from your units. Yeah. 
Look at that. Look how see that's that's why you want ribbon in the front like that. So that protected all your units. Hmm. That was good positioning on your part. You yeah. made sure that. Uh, yeah, where where's Sejuani, by the way? Sejuani's gone. <laughs> one shot. <laughs> as, I said, as I said, double tap or maybe even uh, double tap, maybe even one. No, maybe one. No, I think it's two. Yeah, look, double tap, as I said. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's now now Kindred's trying to kill Ribbon. Look at that. She's not quitting her at all. Damn. She I never thought battle. about that. Yeah. So look at that. Ribbon can easily kill Kindred with double jeweled. So that's why you win here. That's why you won there. Okay. You you won because you got lucky. Yep, like your yep. positioning was relatively good against him. Relatively good. It could have been better. I'm still freaking out about the fact that you don't have a sharpshooter, but you're cool with that, even though there was a jinx in the shop. I got it now. I got it now. Yeah, you still you still prefer the like. Yeah, there's no point like talking about it again. But yeah. No, no, no. I I understand it. Next time I'll 100% yeah. be looking for it. Or any sharpshooter, essentially. Yeah. yeah. So you're still thinking about how to make this stronger. I like. I, I guess that's why you're like having over the over the cane. I think so with Kane, and and correct me if I'm wrong. I'm I'm thinking it's maybe too late to put him out in his weak form, and so I, I'm not sure if I should buy him or not here. You shouldn't. Should not. Okay. Uh, I mean the the vanguards are fine. Oh, you got a Nico's nice, and you found the gen. Good. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Nice, you're looking at someone. Oh, look. Yeah, nice. Uh, oh, you repositioned kind of a little bit. So if you're playing guy with the Zephyr, <laughs> yeah, you're not playing the guy with the Zephyr. Okay. Uh, so do you think you win here or you lose here? <clears throat> I think I win here. Um, I mean, the, the set looks scary, but... He has IE uh, on the set. Okay, that's kind of weird. But he doesn't uh, so, have like a a, a gin. If, if he had like a gin, oh, two, he has maybe. no damage apart yeah, from the set yeah. and the ribbon. Okay, uh, but do you see how dumb it is to have the emperor in the corner? He, he should get pulled yeah. by the front now. Yeah, right. You have the guards. Put the guards in the corners. Right. Yeah. Or yeah. Put yeah. one guard in, in the corner or something. Like right now, he's gonna pull your Zillion and Azir. If he pulls those two, those are really good units. So one guard each corner. Um, it's or specific, Jin, Jin like you corner. said, there are Z players. Yeah. So, I mean, you kind of killed everything. Yeah. He now now he pulled the Azir, but that's it's too late for him. Because he has like his only carry is is the set, which is bad. But okay, so again, you want positioning <clears> tips. <throat> mm -hmm. So like, what do you? Like, you look at this board and you want to think, like, how do you want it to line up? Okay, so I would not want to be in front of the set or the Casio, and I'm not sure how to avoid that. So maybe I would want to spread so that set slam doesn't take out the entire front line. You, uh -oh. you want to make sure that set engages Riven and Riven dashes behind set, okay. as you saw in the previous fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then you want to make sure that Casio. Cannot walk up. Uh, she's not going to walk up. That's good. Cassio is not walking up. She's going to hit Tijuani. So that's fine. If Cassio walk, walked up one, she would stun your whole back line. Um, like, I mean, his, his Cassio. Uh, you definitely don't want to get pulled by Aatrox. Apart from that, I don't know what the hell this is. Like, yeah, it's kind of a dusk. Oh, it's a dusk build, sort of. But this, this build is really weak. And he has Zillion with a... <laughs> is that with a uh, jeweled gauntlet? Jeweled gauntlet? What the hell? How does that work? Does that work? No, it's a like defensive spells cannot quit. It's only offensive spells. Okay. And he has four vanguard, three four vanguard. Uh, yeah. So this is just not a comp. Like, no. You're playing uh, a weaker dusk cultist comp. With, like, like, it's it's a fine dusk cultist comp. There's no sharpshooter. That's like one mistake. His comp is like nothing. So. That's why you wipe him. 
So it's just like you essentially want to, when you scout, you want to you wanna think about what's going to happen. Okay. So if you scout, let's, okay. This is the guy I'm afraid of, and this is who I think I was trying to position for last time. And you did not. There's a Zephyr. What do you want, Zephyr? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can that Zephyr uh, a soldier? Yes. Okay. Uh, what else is something you should be afraid of here? Um, Ari, mm, she's tier yeah. one. She's Ari okay, one. but Ari can be a problem. And obviously the Aphelos. So yeah, yeah. you want to make sure that your Jin is as far away from Aphelos as possible. Because Aphelos oh, okay. goes like left to right or whatever, like one by one. So that's okay. Yeah, I don't know what to do against him. So, so distance for so you would not want to line up on the same side as him. Against him, you lose. You cannot <laughs> beat this board. That's what happens. Okay. You cannot beat this board because you don't have six dusk. Uh, you would need another good riven item. Something for riven. I don't know. Whatever, like a hodge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, ionic maybe to to clear the front line faster. Like you need something on riven. Okay. Um. But this like this is just broken. Like this this guy probably wins the game. Yeah, I, and I knew that once I got him, I was probably gonna lose. So I was just trying to figure out if I should position for him or if I should just uh, try to beat other people that were beatable. Um, okay, so that's yeah, that's the right thought process. This guy you're not beating. You're not beating this guy, so you ignore him. Okay. The, the most frustrating, like I always get the most frustrated when I position for the guy who's first. And I get beaten by the guy who's second. I'm like, I should have been second, or I should have been fourth. Like, if I position, or like third, if I position for the guy, for the other guy, I could have gotten third. You could have won, yeah. I could have at least gotten a little bit better. Uh, this guy, huh? This is tough. Oh, there's mm -hmm. no QSS on the Z, Z. But, but your castle is level one, so she can't stun him. Lily, yeah, he... there's no Lilia to stun him either, huh? But you definitely want soldiers, like soldiers, across from from the Z. Okay. And because there's a two-star Ari with GA, at the same time, you kind of want to split your split up your 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 comp against him. Split split the whole board. Kind and of then, like so, put like two soldiers here. Maybe Jin in the in the left nook, Azer in the in the right corner. Just kind of like split everything up. Okay. Does Jin need protection? Um, <clears throat> like to his flank on his right side, for example, um, here, like a Thresh or something, or should Thresh be um, front line, or or, or whatever he, unit? He should. You should have protection for Jin definitely, especially since you don't have GA. Yeah, yeah, like a full surround or just one one unit. It's okay. Um. Okay, where are they going to come from? So typically they'll come from 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 the back. So like if mm -hmm. Jin is in the, in the nook here, like mm -hmm. even in like not last row but like second last row, and then you put you see my cursor right? Yep. Yeah. So Jin is here. So Thresh can be here. Oh, behind come, him. Okay. Behind him. So like like the most frustrating thing, and you gotta like your vanguards like to walk up. They're melee. So if you put them next to each other, Thresh can walk like too far and then not get targeted by the Zed. True. So you want Didn't your, think about you that. Your thresh to be like even farther back, so that even if he walks up one tile, he's still closer to the Z. Okay. Kind of like you have it right now, except you can just have a field day back there. Okay. Uh, you flip through, but let's say you, you kind of gotta assess your board against every out of the board. Okay, so he repositioned the Zephyr to Zephyr one of your guards. That's nice of him. That is very nice of him. But essentially, I don't think you can win here. No, no. Because that thing is just too broken. Like, it doesn't get hit by CC. Yeah, look at how much I have left. It, even if you kill it once. Like, look at this. Like, look how far ahead you are. But then it's like, yeah. <laughs> it kills the whole army. Um, so I definitely think uh, Sharpshooter would have helped. Maybe you could have killed him the first time, but whatever. Okay. And guards, if, if the guards were a bit closer, maybe he would shoot the guards first and then the Azir, but just like, yeah. Okay. Do here. 
Nice, and this is the fifth, not a sixth. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. That's uh, that was very helpful. I'm happy to hear that. Uh, I prom I promise you the roll down if you if you wanna have a look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you sold everything. Was it this game? No, no, no. Here, wait. I think it was. Must have been the, this game, I think. I really think it was this game. This game. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's this game. It's this game. <laughs> yeah, so, so look at this. Look at this board. Look how greedy I am. I'm at 75 HP because I have four divine, four vanguard. That's just me being greedy. <laughs> it's an interesting Remember board. I told you greed is good? Yeah. So this is me being greedy. I'm still the, the healthiest person in the lobby, and my board is complete dog shit. But it's like, okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. Taking damage. I'm still greeting it out. I'm still at 50 gold. I pre-leveled. I pre-leveled to 8 on 4-6 because of my economy. And I know I can't win here either. I, actually, I get lucky here, I think. No, I don't. I'm very happy about the loss, so I get... Yeah, nice. <laughs> and yeah. So... I missed the pike. So you're going to full transition to Enlighten because your Talon yep. items here and you get the Marlo? Okay. Oh. And I found uh, Morgana. Nice. And that's when I'm like, okay, bye. And then I roll a bit. I'm rolling for an assassin, which I missed the pike earlier. So I lose. I lose here because I uh, I have double Fiora. Okay, so all you're missing is an assassin to activate the talon. Yep. Okay. It's getting pretty close, considering. Yeah. This, this is not even like full comp yet. Full pivot tail, yeah, I failed the full pivot. There we go. Talon two, and I think I start winning now. I love I roll for some upgrades. And yeah, look at my comp cool. like my comp on five two compared to <laughs> six. I kept I kept the locks, I hit a Morgana and I'm still losing barely. Yeah, but you're, yeah. I think I end up getting second in this. In this, no, I end up getting first in this game. This is where you hit the talent three. I think so. I think it's yeah. <clears throat> but you saw how how hard I econ like. Yeah, yeah. And now you keep rolling because what you can hit Shen, you can hit Aurelia. Yeah, I need to hit something. Like I look at my front line, my front line. Yeah. There's nothing there. And yeah, uh, Nami is better than um, Fiora. I okay. feel it's, it's a long range stun. Look at that. I nice. killed someone with a real comp. With a real comp. So item, I need something for Morgana, which is not which I cannot get here. <clears throat> and since I'm last pick, I just think I get the Ludens. Just for mana? Yeah, because there was nothing there. And now I'm chilling at 10 and yeah, slowly rolling and taking over the game. And there's my talent. And yeah. Nice. Very nice. And now I'm, now I'm <clears throat> looking at who I played, scouting. And now that I scout people, based on that, I try to reposition because I saw Zephyr. So I moved Lux up one tile so that Janna gets Zephyr, not Lux, if I play the one guy. Apart from that, I'm happy with my positioning. And my positioning is okay. 
Does that does that kind of make sense? Like, yeah, yeah, I gotcha. I look at people, I look at stuff and what's going on, and I I position if I if I need to reposition, I reposition. I'm happy with like how my how my board looks right now, so I leave it as is. And now I realize now I'm still rolling for Morgana, but it's a mistake. So I think I sell her at some point. So okay, so you're at fifty HP, uh, pretty strong board it looks like, and you're like, what is what is making you continue to roll here? What are you thinking? I need Talon three or Morgana three. I cannot win right now, and I'm on a win streak. So if I can if I can continue winning, then it's better. And going uh, going nine is not even on your mind. For what? I can add a another adept, but like I'm not gonna get stronger by going to nine. I'm gonna it's get not stronger worth it. by, by okay. three star Talon. That's okay. like. That's another thing you should know. Like, how do you get stronger? Well, the, the best way to get stronger is by finding talent. <clears throat> Nothing else matters. Like, even Ash has QSS, so even if I had uh, Adept, it wouldn't do anything. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And you and you feel that uh, talent three is more possible than like uh, a two star legendary or something? Because is, is it is that normally the case, or do you? Because I've I've seen well, some people. You mean push... like two star legendary going to nine? Yeah, yeah. Like, do you do you think you can make it to nine here ever, or is it just better to roll for this three star talent because no one else is contesting talent? I think it's he's uncontested. That's uh, why I'm going for the talent. Okay. And I'm all like, I I think I played the guy with the zephyr, so now I'm positioning accordingly. There's a zephyr there. Look at that, boom. And look at that. What I want to happen? I want the Nami to get lifted. She's my weakest, most useless unit. So I sacrifice the zephyr gods. Hmm. Gotcha. And somehow, oh yeah, because the Shen taunts the the set, so that way he gets to fly away there, not towards my composition, which is good as well. But I think this guy, this guy beats me. That's why I need the talent three. But for some, like this is this comp is really strong considering. Like that, I have not that much. Like I, I really like the fact that it's really strong, even though I don't know why it's that strong. And I, exactly, I want uh, Ionic here, but they're smart enough to pick it up. So yeah, yeah I really want to learn this comp better. I don't play it very often because I'm not super comfortable with it, but it looks really fun. It's so good. Like you can flex six enlightened, four, uh, four assassin, four, four mystic, four dazzler. You just kind of play around your chosen. Yeah. Poor Dazzler is so, so, so good. Yeah, that was a bad move. I shouldn't have picked that up. But, like, right now, I, I thought I could be strong enough, but I'm not strong enough. So I picked up the Morgana. The, the great thing is, like, it'll, it'll only cost me one gold when I sell her, right? Yeah. Are you just too too broke to get that far, to get her to three-star? Is that why it's not a good move? or? Yeah. And uh, well, I have I'm on one life. Like right you now, you have I'm to on... go for it. Yep. So buying the Morgana there, I, I it was a greedy play. Like, yeah, now I try to reposition for for the guy I'm going to play. And look how nicely the Lux OT lines up. Oh, well, everything's already dead, but it would have lined up nicely. Here, I get very very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Nami carry. That's why Nami is better than Fiora. <laughs> and yeah, and then I find the talent because I, but I rolled like you know how much gold I rolled. I greeted so 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 hard. So I was able to roll for the talent. Cool. Okay. Okay. And then I finally hit the talent, and it's game over. Yeah. Now I could go nine. Like now I could go nine, but now okay. I, I won. Again, if my timing gets Zephyred, I lose the game. I tried to last second reposition, I didn't do it, but but it's not even not even fair anymore. Look at the talent pop off. Yeah, he's a beast. 
he's just killing everything one by one. And that's GG. <laughs> yeah, you can see I'm a little excited. I was, I was essentially dead. Yeah. Awesome. So that's that's kind of you know the comp you want to play. You play it. You play it well. You find the comps here in compositions. Okay, I'll take a look here. These are the three compositions I recommend. My favorite is the Talon one, which is this. With any in light, like any chosen, and here, yeah, also any chosen. You just want this is the core comp for Ash. These five units with whatever you find. Okay, okay. And this is this is the core comp for Dusk. And you nice. really want to get a chosen Dusk or a Spat. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So this is, yeah, the two Mystic Sharpshooter Vanguard Cultist. It's kind of what you were maybe aiming for, but. Yeah, it not was, yeah. Charlie, yeah. Yeah, I didn't find that Lilia. Um, and and, and you never never picked up the Wayne. I, I didn't react to that. Yeah, I didn't react to get, seeing all the Banes. Yeah. Now, now I know, though. Now I know that it's important even just for Jin. And you're asking about the items. Yeah, so here you go. Here are Jin items, Riven items. Okay, cool. And then, like, here I only have Ash items because they're the only important ones. Here I only have Talon items. And this is, like, this is all you need for, for, for Enlightened Comp. Sword, 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 and then a Morello. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So I hope you enjoyed the session. Yeah, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Appreciate your time. And we'll stay in touch. For sure. Definitely. Take care, Ryan. All right. Take care, Bye. man. Thank you.